So what do you think of SAS now? Do you still watch it? No, I don't watch it. Um, but obviously I can't let my, my Twitter explode on a Sunday night. <laughs> and, I, and I turn off the notifications, I turn off everything, but you know, I've got it, but it's just red hot. My phone goes just red hot to the point where it's, uh, so I scroll on. I just have fun with it now. Um, I'm really shocked they could still call it SAS Who Dares Wins um, because of they've got an ex-Marine in there mm. um, who's the chief instructor now and that's their equivalent to, which is a, a, a credible fighting force, but they're equivalent to our War Marines. You know, his position was, um, if you put it into, into the UK, a Royal Marine in, in Recce Troop or a Royal Marine in the Brigade Recce Force, which you know, are really, really, but they're not tier one special forces. They haven't got that mindset. They don't work with the same organizations. They haven't got that, that the trainer, different training that we have. So um, they've obviously made that jump into reality TV, which you know I could see happening, hence why I left. SAS Who Dares Wins is, is meant to be a selection process for normal civilians. But if you haven't been through the selection process, then it's a bit like, mm. but you know, Delta Force and you know, SEAL Team Six Dev Group, you know, their selection process is similar to the to the UK one, especially Delta Force. If they had someone from from Delta Force on there, then you could you could go right, yeah, they've pieced that together nicely. Um, what do you think of Rudy? Because you and him have had a few war reports. <laughs> no, you? do you know what? I I have fun with the with with my followers um, with Rudy. You know, I repost a few things and have a tongue in cheek uh, sort of humour with it. Um, and do you know what? I was actually looking forward to meeting Rudy, um, but then he brought out this this article about me. Um, I've never spoken to him before. Never 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 said anything about him before. And he just brought out this article saying that I was mis misogynist, and, and and I just thought, wow, you know. I've, Never spoken to the bloke, never mentioned his name. Um, so when he done that, I thought, you know what, we'll have a, we'll have a little bit of fun, but never going into into that because I don't know the guy. Who would win in the fight between you and Rudy? <laughs> <laughs> I think Rudy's like is he sixty odd, nearly sixty? <laughs> no, I think Rudy's uh, he's fifty odd in there. I guess, yeah. and I respect my elders. Right. <laughs> um, and um, I'm forty one, so yeah, I've got, got, got good ten years on him. Yeah. What do you think of the cast of this year's SES? I know you're not watching it, um, but do you think it's... Yeah, do you know what? I think or? it's, uh, listen, it's, it's, listen, it's entertainment, isn't it? It's, it's reality TV now. Um, so, you know, good luck to them, you know. I've got no problem, you know. It's funny because people say, you know, I put stuff on, up on Twitter and people oh, Ant's furious rant. And I'm just thinking, if you could see me, you know, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm really, and I don't want, you know, I, you know, good luck to the show and, and good luck to the contestants and... Um, but sometimes I, you know, I do. I think to myself, well, you know, if I was on there, I, I, would, I would do, th you know, do things a, a, a bit differently, and I'd, I would really want to push that person or do this to that person. Or, um, but I do that in Australia anyway. Mm. So um, Australia um, Channel Seven, are just absolutely phenomenal. Um, they just, you know, leave me to run the narrative on the ground. The production runs the narrative behind the scenes. The channel merged the two together. Perfect partnership, mm. like it should be, like it has been and like it was um, through 2015, 16, 17 and 18. What do you think of Matt Hancock doing SAS, by the way? Yeah, someone sent me that the <laughs> other day. <laughs> Uh, I forgive you. I think you'd be all right in it, you know. Um, I saw him doing press ups. There was a photo that was sent, and he was doing the press ups wrong. So I was thinking straight away, I'd pick you up. I'll be on your case, Matt. So um, I don't but, think he would have dared do it if you were on it. No, do you know what? And that's what a lot of celebrities have said. A lot of well, a hell of a lot of phone calls from the celebrities saying, "I've got the phone call. I'm not doing it. I've got the phone call. I'm not doing it." Um, one out of loyalty to myself, oh, okay. and two, they've just gone. It's, what am I going to get out of it? It's gone soft. It's uh, you know, it's, and it is a lot softer, and that's what they want. That's what's been they've been pushing. Um, and again, that's great. You know, whatever they want, but um, yeah, they've. That's uh, not what people watch <laughs> no, the show for. It, though, no, it? but it's uh, so. I think it, uh, with the current show, um, the way it is, I think you do all right. I mean, obviously, your books are very successful. People are desperate to have you mm. back on television, right? Mm -hmm. You get a lot on your Twitter, people saying, when are you going to be back, when are you going to be back? Mm. How does that feel? You know, I think it's time for me to be back, and it's just through the demand. I feel an obligation to come back mm. to TV, you know. 
I have such an overwhelming response on my social media and when are you going to be back you know the people want me back and I've had a couple of opportunities to come back but they haven't been right you know, I just don't want to get my face back on TV for, mm. for just for the sake of it it's got to be something punchy it's got to be something right it's got to be something that the people can get a message from because you look at my TV everything I do you know if you look through the entertainment side of it um, has a message behind it mm. and it is about self-development it is about Resilience. identifying something within that individual that they can use to become a better version of who they are mm. and if it doesn't relate to that if it's just a monotone entertainment program then I'm, I'll jump into filming I can do that which again is on the cards you know I've had some very exciting conversations about film where I can go into that but getting back on TV you mean acting um, you're acting yeah okay very so very in Hollywood very interesting uh, conversations and we're quite far advanced on a, on a couple of things. So you um, could be following in the footsteps of like The Rock. Well, you know listen, I mean? you know, you never know where this, um, this world will take you. And that's what I find so fascinating is just getting out there, grabbing opportunities um, and yeah, expressing yourself. I love expressing myself through my books. I love expressing myself through TV, you know, and hopefully I can express myself through film, um, which again is very much on the cards and uh, Times are very exciting right now within, within my, sort of say, acting career.